Hi, God bless and welcome everyone here to Talk Straight Bible. This is Elsie with you all here in this day. As always, giving God all the glory, the honor, and all the exaltation because He alone deserves it. I'm here to do one thing and that is to speak the truth of the Word of God to you all here in this day. I want to speak on a message lesson the Lord placed in my heart. It's a small, short one, but it's a beautiful one and I pray that it empowers you, it impacts you, it moves upon you, and that you understand how important it is to have the presence of God in your life and how God's presence is a reflection so that others can see how God lives in you, how God works in you. And they're also going to want that light that you have as well to shine within them. But God's presence is so beautiful and wonderful. And I want to share with you from the book of Exodus chapter 33 verses 14 to 16 and the word of God says and he said my presence will go with you and I will give you rest then he said to him if your presence does not go with us do not bring us up from here for how then will it be known that your people and I have found grace in your sight except you go with us so we shall be separated your people and I from all the people who are upon the face of the earth. In this verse of scripture, Moses is letting God know that we can do nothing apart from God. Moses understood how important it was to have God leading him in every moment, every step of the way while he was leading the children of Israel, this huge congregation, many people, multitudes of people, he was leading them in the desert, but he needed God to be with him every step of the way. And he didn't want the people to be like the people of the world, to be contaminated with all the things and the evil and the pagan, the paganism and the idols and all that they were exposed to while they were in Egypt. He wanted them to be separated from God. That's a good leader, a good shepherd, a good person who wants you to do good who wants you to walk in the ways of the lord that's what moses was instructing the people to do but sometimes you're going to have people who are a little rebellious <laughs> and who are a little disobedient and having the presence of god having god give you instructions and directions on where to go what to do is important even our own children they are like the uh, prodigal son. They want to experience the world. <laughs> they want to experience the things that are out there. And you are doing your best. Because in your home, you're the pastor. You're the evangelist. You're the prophet. You're the apostle. You are the teacher. In your home, you are all these things. And you are instructing and guiding a generation. So in the process of you doing these things, you need God, you can't do this alone. And this is Moses' plea to God is that we need you. We need you to be with us. We need to know that you are with us. We need to know that we found grace in your sight. But we need to know that every step of the way, you're there. Jesus also said in John chapter 15, verse 5, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. The Apostle Paul also writes in the book of Romans chapter 7 verse 18, he says, For I know that nothing good lives in me, that is in my flesh, my human nature, my worldliness, my sinful capacity. For the willingness to do good is present in me, but the doing of good is not. And I read from the Amplified Version because I like the way it was worded. But just like Moses and the Apostle Paul, many others even today understand why having the presence of God with them is important. When Moses went up to Mount Sinai in the presence of the Lord to receive the Ten Commandments, the people were down below committing evil. And if you haven't read the story in the Bible, I'm always encouraging everyone, 
go back, open up your Bible, read the stories, let it encourage you, let it fill you, let the word of God do its work in you. But God's presence is omnipresent, which means that since God's power and knowledge is extended to all parts of his creation, he himself is present everywhere. He does not forget anything. Nothing escapes his vision. The Bible says that he even knows the number of hairs that are on our head. The Bible says he knows our rising up and our sitting down. He knows our thoughts before we even think them. And when you're in the presence of God, just as Moses was on Mount Sinai, you forget about all your doubts, all your worriness, and all your fear because God takes all that away. Those are the things that come to paralyze you. But after being in the presence of God, you find yourself still and paralyzed in his presence. Being in God's presence it's an incredible gift that it comforts us, empowers us. It gives us strength in difficult times. And so when Moses was on Mount Sinai with God, he didn't concern himself with the troubles that were down below because his focus and his heart, his entire being was paralyzed and in awe by the creator, by his glory, his Shekinah glory up on that mountain. That's why when you're in God's presence, you forget about everything. I don't know about you, but when I worship the Lord in my home and it's just me and God and I'm playing worship music, I get lost in his presence. Or when I'm sitting down and I'm reading the word of God and one scripture just jumps out at me and I'm just there meditating on it, I'm in awe in his presence. Or when I'm there and I'm praying and sometimes you don't even realize how much time you're praying, but you're talking to the Father and you feel his presence, him wrapping you in the shadow of the his mighty wings and you feel in awe by his presence. And you don't think about your worriness, your doubts, your fear, your trouble, what tomorrow holds. You're only thinking about I'm in the presence of God and this feels good. You feel rejuvenated. You feel that that wonderful feeling, that love that the Father gives us when we take time just to be in his presence. This is why it was so important for Moses to let God know we need you. We need to know you're walking with us. We need to know you're on this journey with us. That wherever we go, you're there. You know, God doesn't need us to keep him company. And this, let me tell you, when I was sitting down and going through this, I, I God gave me this part because I said, my God, you don't need us. But we need you. We need you to keep us company. Because we need God to take away everything that is in our minds, that is negative, everything that has been rooted in our hearts from the time we were children. We need God's company so we can hear his voice clearly and get direction from him. Because without God, we are fools and we make foolish decisions. We take paths we shouldn't. We say things we shouldn't. We act in a certain way that we shouldn't. But when you have God's presence and you're walking with God and you're talking with God, it feels so good because you feel good about what you're doing. You need God. I need God every second, every hour, every moment of the day. I need him. Just like the tree needs water and sunlight in order to bear fruit. We need the Father, we need the Son, and we need the Holy Spirit. And I want to read to you some verse of scripture that expresses what takes place when you're in the presence of God. The first one is found in Psalm 16, verse 11. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hands are pleasures forevermore. In God's presence here, you're going to receive joy. The second one is found in James chapter 4, verse 8. And this is a well-known scripture. It says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. And in this scripture here, you will receive comfort from the Father. The third one is found in the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verses 19. I'm going to only read 19. I have a few, but I'm going to read 19. Therefore, brother. Brethren, having boldness to enter 
the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Because of the sacrifice that our Lord and Savior did on the cross, that bloody sacrifice, we have access to the Father. That's what we receive when we're in God's presence, access to Him because of Jesus. The fourth verse of scripture is found in Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. In God's presence you will receive and find nothing but peace. Not like the peace of this world. Not like the troubles of this world. But a peace that will guard your heart and mind through Jesus Christ. That's why it's important to always pray the full armor of God. We need it to guard every thought, to guard our hearts, to guard our emotions, to guard us from the, the darts of the enemy. And the other scripture I have here, you will... um is is in uh psalms 37 verse 4 and it says delight yourself also in the lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart god will delight himself in you you'll find joy you'll find comfort you'll have access you'll have peace but most importantly you will have the lord so for moses to want God to walk with him, to talk with him, to be with him every step of the way was highly important because God's presence, when you're in his presence, when you're doing all these things with him, when you put him first, you'll receive the greatest experience of all and it will leave you in awe. In this last scripture, I want to leave you, which is one that I love. I, I love the word of God, but there's always the scriptures that talk to you, that stand out to you, that jump out at you and you're like, yes. <laughs> it's in Psalms 121 verses 1 to 2. And it says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. When you're in God's presence, he's your helper. He's your refuge. He's your shelter. He's your fortress. He is all that you need. And I bring you this message because yesterday I had an experience. And as I got home, I sat down and I said, wow, if I didn't have your presence with me, God, if I didn't understand what it felt to have that, that conviction, to have correction, to have love, to have compassion and kindness for all those who are out there. I would have absolutely nothing. But I am blessed because I have the Lord in me. I have joy, comfort, access, help. I have the Lord and you too can have that same feeling. So I pray that you are blessed. Stay in the presence of God. Soak yourself in his presence. Let him pour out more of him into you and say, Lord, uproot everything that does not please you. Empty me of every root, every rotten root that has been in me. Uproot it and begin to water me with more of your presence. I pray you have a blessed week in the Lord. And until we meet again, shalom.